Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Chris Kristen Hilty from Making Math Make Sense. Today I am here with my friend Brett. He is going to help us learn how to play the game tic-tac-toe multiplication. So to play this game, you are going to need different kinds of counters. You are gonna need two counters that are see-through because you're gonna be using these down here to cover over the factors. And then you need some other kind of counters that you're going to use on the actual game board. So Brett and I are gonna use these red and yellow counters. If you really wanna play with a fun way and you don't have those red and yellow counters available, you can always play with M&Ms. So Brett, do you wanna play with M&Ms as our counters or with the red and yellow counters? M&Ms. I guess we're using the M&Ms today. All right, so to play tic-tac-toe multiplication, you need the game board. And I am gonna go first, and I'm gonna take my bingo chip counters here, and I'm going to color, cover over two factors. So I covered over the six and the three, and I now have to give my multiplication sentence. Six groups of three equals 18, and so I'm going to put my counter over top of 18. Brett goes and he can only move one of those bingo chips. So down here, Brett, you wanna move one of those. You'll multiply your two new factors and then you'll put your counter over your product. You wanna be the first one to get three of your color in a row to get tic-tac-toe. Okay, so what's your new equation? Three times seven equals 21. So he's gonna cover over 21. Now again, I can only move one of these. So I am gonna do three, I'm gonna put both of them over top of three. So three times three equals nine, and mine goes over top of the nine. All right, Brett, what are you gonna do? Okay. Tell us your equation. Three times one equals three. Always make oh, sure they tell you the equation uh, before they cover over the product. All right, so it's my turn. He has kind of blocked me here. Actually, I think I'm going to do four times one equals four. Brett's turn. Four times six is 24. Okay, and then I'm going to do four groups of four equals 16 and cover over my 16, and I just got three in a row. Oh, he's a little bit stunned by that one. Tic-tac-toe me. All right, so as you can see, this is a fun one to play. There's a lot of strategy. Once your kids get good at getting three in a row, change the rules, make them get four in a row, make them get five in a row, change it up, or make them get a whole row or a column. But you can get three vertically, horizontally, diagonally. That's tic-tac-toe multiplication. Have fun playing, and thanks for joining us.